So welcome back y'all. Today I decided to do a video just to show you how I silk press Dion's hair. We get a lot of questions about what I do to his hair and how do I maintain it and why does it look so healthy. Um, I'm just going to share a couple tips and tricks that I do do when I silk press his hair. And also I'm going to walk you through things that you need to know when you are doing a silk press at home. But before we move on any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button and put on your alerts so you can see all our new content. So we're just going to start off with releasing the old hairstyle and really finger detangling and combing through all the old product to make sure that when we execute this wash that it's 100% clean and all the buildup is out. As you're approaching that last piece, like I said, make sure you comb through it thoroughly with your fingers. And I always like to give a nice massage before I move on to the wash. Now here we have all the products I'll be using. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Moving on to the wash, be sure to soak the hair with lots of water before adding your shampoo. As you can see, I am really getting in there, okay? Because it is a silk press, you want to make sure you do two shampoos as required so that all the product can come out and this hairstyle can last. Your girl arms is on fire. I am barely making it through this wash, but we're almost done. This is the last shampoo.
After all that shampoo, you want to make sure you're thoroughly rinsing the hair and getting all of that product out. Now you want to section your hair into four and start applying the deep conditioner throughout. Make sure you catch the ends because the old hair is very important to hydrate. I cannot stress how important it is to make sure that your hair is 100% hydrated before putting any type of heat. It's really good to do a deep conditioner anytime you're using a blow dryer or any type of hot tool because this will honestly prevent your hair from causing breakage and causing your hair from burning off. Once you're done working all that product through, we're going to slap a plastic cap on top of that and have it sit in for about 30 minutes under heat. Do you see how delicious that looks? I love, love, love freshly washed hair. Now you're going to section your hair back into four. Start adding your leave-in conditioner, heat protectant, and detangle as you go.
Now your boy has a whole lot of hair, so I did have to continue this off camera. You're just going to repeat the same process throughout. Part the hair into smaller sections before blow drying. This is to ensure you catch all of those curls. And no, his hair is not burning off, so don't be alarmed you guys, it is completely safe. Do you see that? I mean, do you see that? Your boy got nothing but shrinkage and long locks. I'm finally at the front. It took your girl forever, but we made it. So bear with me, y'all, we're almost done. I got him looking like black Jesus. Is it just me? Before you add any more heat, you want to hydrate your scalp. This scalp nurture works perfectly because it's lightweight and does not weigh down your hair. Around this time, I've already preset the flat iron to 400 degrees and converted his hair back into small sections. want to try and avoid doing more than two passes with the flat iron. This is to avoid heat damage. Using the chasing method will help with this. As you can see, I was struggling just a little bit, but 
I got the hang of it and we're right back on track. and we are coming along. You just wanna continue and repeat this same process throughout. And do you see that? Sleek, nice, and smooth. Once you reach the front, you want to make those sections even smaller than the ones you did in the back to make sure it's super, super, super flat. Yes, we are finally done, y'all. Now all you want to do is add a small amount of hair polish. I couldn't get the camera to focus, so it will be linked in the description box below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. And thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.